Hello friends, I would like to discuss a problem which is based on dog Shebisha So let us go to the problem. So this is my problem. Problem is to design a dog Shebisha broadside array of size 6 half wavelength spaced elements for 30 dB side lobs. So there are sequence of steps we should follow in order to design this kind of a dog, dog Shebisha broadside array. Now the first step is to find the value of r. There are two methods by which we can find the value of r. First method is by using the formula main log maximum divided by side log level. And the second method is to find r using the formula 20 log r to the base 10. So here we have in the question we are given that um, decibels uh, is 30 dB and uh, we will be substituting in this equation so we will be getting the value of r which is equal to 10 raised to 3 by 2 which will be given as 31.6 which can be approximated to 32 next step is to find the value of m as well as x0 the polynomial degree m can be found out using the equation n minus 1 and in the question the number of elements array elements is given as 6 so 6 minus 1 will be equal to 5 and then uh, to find the value of x0 there are two methods first method is using the, dis, uh, the equations given in the design table of the Chebyshev arrays from that we will be getting the equation uh, for t5 of x because there are 6 elements so m is equal to 5 so t m of x means t5 of x which is equal to 16 x0 the whole raised to 5 minus 20 x square x x0 cube plus 5 x0 or we could use another formula and I have used that formula where x0 is equal to 1 by 2 into r plus root of r square minus 1 the whole raised to 1 by m plus r minus root of r square minus 1 the whole raised to 1 by m and here the value of r is already found out which is equal to 32 and the value of m is equal to 5 now when we are substituting those values we will be getting the equation for answer for x0 as 1.36 step 3 is to find the value of or equation for et0 or ete now ete means if we will be using that equation if we are having even number of elements array elements and et0 will be used if we are having odd number of array elements now here we are having 6 array elements which is even number of array elements so we will be using the equation 2 into sigma k equal to 0 to n minus 1 a k cos 2 k plus 1 by 2 into psi. So in order to do this equation we should find the value of capital N which is equal to n by 2 equal to 6 by 2 which is equal to 3. Now since we are having even number of elements array elements we will be using this equation e t e which is equal to 2 into sigma k equal to 2 because 3 minus 1 equal to 2 and a k cos 2 k plus 1 by 2 into 5. Now when we are substituting the values of k that is from 0 to 2 we will be getting the below equation which is equal to 2 into a0 cos 5 by 2 plus a1 cos 3 5 by 2 plus a2 cos 5 5 by 2. Next is to substitute the value of cos 5 by 5 by 2 equal to z. So when you are substituting the value of cos 5 by 2 equal to z, we will be getting this equation that is 2 into a0 z plus a1 for z cube minus 3 z plus a2 16 z raised to 5 minus 20 z cube plus 5 z. Now z can be also written as x by x0 and x0 we have already found out that it is equal to 1.36. So two is, uh, the equation can be written as 2 into a0 x by 1.36 plus a1 for x cube by 1.36 the whole cube minus 3x by 1.36 plus a2 16 x raised to 5 by 1.36 raised to 5 minus 20 x raised to cube by 1.36 cube plus 5 x by 1.36 so this can be marked as equation number 1 and the step 4 is to equate the first equation with the equation that we get from the design table so from the design table we have already seen that t5 of x is equal to 16 x raised to 5 minus 20 x cube plus 5 x so mark it as second equation and equate those equation so when we are looking at the coefficient of x raised to 5 here it is 16 and here we will be having the uh, coefficients as a2 16 by 1.36 raised to 5 
and we'll be equating those two equations and uh, we can find the value of a2 which is equal to 16 into 1.36 raised to 5 by 16 which can be uh, 4 point which can be 4.652 now uh, next we should uh, equate the coefficients of x cube here the coefficient of x cube is minus 20 here it is 4 a1 by 1.36 cube and here it is minus 20 by 1.36 cube so that's that equations are uh, equated and then we will be getting the equation for a1 as minus 20 into 1.36 cube plus 20 a2 by 4 and a2 we have already found out that it is equal to 4.652 so when we are substituting the value of a2 we will be getting it as 10.682 now next is to find the value of a0 now a0 has a0 uh, not to find a0 we should equate the coefficients of x so here it is a0 by 1.36 here it will be uh, x as a coefficient minus 3 a1 1.36 and here it will be 5 into a2 by 1.36 so that is being equated so here we can see the equation as a is uh, 5 equal to a0 by 1.36 minus 3 a1 by 1.36 plus 5 a2 by 1.36 and from that equation we can get the value of a0 by using the uh, formula 5 into 1.36 plus 3 a1 minus 5 a2 uh, here a1 we have already calculated that it is equal to 10.682 and uh, a2 is equal to 4.652 so when we are substituting those values uh, in the equation we will be getting the for, uh, final value of a0 as 15 point 586. Now, uh, in this equation, we have already uh, seen that um, in the equation ETE, it is given as 2 into sigma k equal to 0 to 2, and here it is marked as 2 because there are 2 uh, in A0 itself, there are 2 A0s, there are 2 A1, like that, there will be 2 A2. So, here uh, we can draw the array elements spacing by lambda by 2, and this will be the design. Uh, which is 15.586 uh, 15.586 here it will be 10.682 and here it will be 4.652 so this is this will be the uh, last design that we get after we do this problem so hope uh, all of you have understood the problem thank you